We have arrived at a time where university campuses investigate, adjudicate, and punish people on the basis of ambiguous Title IX accusations. And those accused of wrongdoing have lost their right to due process. My name is Mukund Bengalator, and this is my story. I'm an atomic physicist with a focus on studying ultra-cold quantum gases. In 2009, I started as an assistant professor of physics at Cornell University. Over a course of a few years, we had established a very sophisticated laboratory. I came up for tenure a few years after coming to Cornell, but in 2014, my entire career was derailed. What happened was that he was accused of sexual misconduct by a disgruntled former graduate student. And it's certainly totally appropriate for Cornell to investigate. But what Cornell did was to basically deny the professor any opportunity to defend himself effectively. For some reason, these schools have made the determination that in Title IX proceedings, they're not going to follow those very basic due process dictates. And that's what's happened here, is that they violated our, our client's constitutional rights, basically had what I would call a kangaroo court type proceeding and our client has suffered immensely as a result of it. Throughout the investigation, I never had a full and fair opportunity to challenge the validity of the charges against me. The investigators refused to tell me the charges I was facing. They invented an allegation of a consensual year-long relationship with the student, which neither she nor I alleged. In the end, with the blessings of the Department of Education, this former student was allowed to weaponize Title IX against me to derail my career. Title IX was passed by Congress in 1972 in order to provide an equal playing field for girls and, and women. It's a very simple law and it just basically states that if any kind of an organization receives funding from the federal government, they must guarantee and assure that there's going to be equal treatment of girls and boys and men and women. Title IX has no application here. Title IX says nothing about what colleges should do when people are accused of misconduct. Title IX simply says that schools should not discriminate on the basis of sex. And unfortunately what's happened is colleges and universities have used these disciplinary proceedings as a way to discriminate against students, discriminate against male students who are accused of misconduct, to guarantee that they'll be found responsible. And that's completely wrong, and that is exactly the opposite of what the law is supposed to require. Cornell denied him any hearing. It denied him a right to cross-examine witnesses. It even denied him the right to present his own live witnesses. Instead, Cornell appointed a single individual as both the investigator and the jury. And the result was a, a totally unfair process. Dr. Vengelator was found guilty from the minute this investigation started. That's why we've gone to federal court to sue Cornell University and the Department of Education to try to take away this finding and stop this unlawful practice. We also want the Department of Education to stop being able to use its guidance, its dear colleague letter, to force colleges and universities across the country into adopting these unfair and unlawful disciplinary proceedings. I want Cornell to finally acknowledge that these allegations are entirely false, and I want a fair process so this does not happen to anyone else. <laughs>